number 11, Andrew Marshall, number 71, Kale Craner, and number 19, Chase Glaze. These are captains. Okay, you want to grab the mic and coach and start out with just a general statement about the game and then we'll go to questions. Um, obviously, it didn't turn out the, the way we had hoped, but uh, I, I have nothing but pride for how hard uh, our, our, our team uh, played and, and, and how much uh, they've put into getting us here. Uh, that they've set a new standard for Bloom Carroll football um, that will never be forgotten. Coach, talk about the journey to uh, get to Ken. You guys uh, made to your first state championship in school history. Um, so we, we started our off-season program last January, January 3rd, so almost 11 months ago uh, to the day. We had 60 guys a day in the weight from January on, included during basketball and baseball. Um, so, so while um, e externally people may have uh, kind of questioned uh, where we might have been. I think internally, uh, our, our expectations and goals were, were still the same as they has always been. Uh, Coach, you got a lot of young guys, especially off that uh, experienced offensive line, um, you know, outside the offensive line. Uh, what can you say about your seniors all season, getting the guys here, and what they taught to your younger players? Uh, they've set the standard. Um, uh, from, from day one in the weight room, Kale's a baseball guy. So even during baseball season, before practice, Kale's sitting in the weight room just with the team as we're lifting, knowing that he's going to baseball practice uh, right after that. Uh, Andrew and, and, and Chase have been the leaders the whole time through. Uh, so in terms of their impact on the young guys, that they, they understand now uh, the preparation, uh, both physically, mentally, and then even in the leadership way of what it takes to get here. Coach, um, you guys have been able to run the ball all season long. Uh, you only had 69 rushing yards tonight. Was there anything that Canfield presented defensively that you were surprised about, or what, I guess, limited you guys on the ground? I, I don't know if, if, if we were surprised. Uh, we were just struggling to establish what, what we had normally done. Um, and, and then when we got behind, then, then um, we had to kind of change gears a little bit. Um, but, I mean, all, all year long, I know those rushing yards are what they are, and we did run the ball a lot, but we kind of knew that if we need, got into a situation like this, we really could um, get into what you saw later on with our, our 10 to 20 personnel stuff. So it was more trying to take advantage of what uh, they were presenting to us versus trying to just keep, keep pounding away. Yeah, Andrew, in the same vein, I just wondered, you play some offense, and I know the times I've seen you, you guys have just imposed your will physically on the other team. Uh, their defense, what uh, enabled them defensively to keep you guys from racking up the rushing yards and moving the ball down the field, particularly the way you did against Tippecanoe in the state semis? Uh, they were really physical, and they knew what we were doing. When we were running, they knew who we were going to. They just beat us off the ball and get the line of scrimmage. <coughs> Um, Coach, you, you had talked about the quarterback, obviously. Um, and it just seemed like every time they needed to play if on a first down, he did it. And, they, and you guys can talk about that, just the difference he made, obviously. Uh, obviously, he's the guy. Um, and then we knew that coming in. But if, if you look at the stats, I'm assuming that's what you guys have in front of you there. If you look at the stats, look at the third down conversions. Look at their third down conversions versus ours. Um, and I think really more so than um, anything else during the game, that was the big story, is they kept converting third downs and we weren't. Um, so so that, that changed the course of the game, really. As player, does that get frustrating? You know what I mean? You, you ha he gets it the first down by a yard. I mean, just, um, just was that getting frustrating as a, as a defense, I guess? Um, I feel like, yeah, it drags the drive along and it wastes time. So if they keep moving the clock, we can't do what we do when we do get the ball back. But uh, we sh that was a big part of the game. Wasn't it? Letting them get the third downs and us not getting the third and fourth downs, we didn't go for it. Coach, you guys feel like you guys? Oh, sorry, black. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Did you guys feel like maybe you got beat your own game a little bit? Except they were kind of mixing a little more pass than you guys normally do. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I felt like we got beat our own game. I mean, they they had shown on film they were sixty five plus percent run, and most time that stretch look. Uh, so what we were trying to do is set the edge, and, and what they did is they, they established the edge better than we did tonight. Uh, 
I, I wouldn't say they beat us in our own game because that's not, that's not really their game. Their game is trying to get to the corner and get around and let 12 do his thing, and they were able to do that. They like that run pass option so much, and obviously you knew that he would probably run more than he would pass. What made him so difficult to bring down? Just such a physical runner? Uh, I, I, actually, I, I think they blocked it really well. Uh, I, I thought their H back, full back, I, I think they set the edge really well. So when we were, we were, we were running and, and then um, running to the ball, but they had stretched us so wide that that creates the seams, and that, that was hard to, to plug out. And, and make no bones about it, I don't want to take anything away from that. That was a heck of a game plan and a heck of a team. Uh, and, and 12's going where he's going because of his talent. Coach McKinney, Keno Sultan here with C-Town Radio. Your team had the momentum going into their intermission on a three-yard touchdown coming out 14-7. However, an interception kind of took you guys out of range. Would you say that turned the game completely against you in that second half after that? But yes, because we actually, so we did stop them there, and then we made a punt, and, the, and then uh, we were moving the ball a little bit, and, and then I, I think it was a fumble, but we, we turned the ball over there, back over to them, and then, and then that, that kind of zapped our momentum a little bit. And then we were back in the situation we were in most of the first half is where they were able to do what they wanted to do. I mean, that's what Coach said all week long in any interview he did was that they really wanted to control the clock. Um, and, and unfortunately for us, they were able to do that. Uh, Neil Monivan with the Tribune Chronicle and the Vindicator. Um, Brock Lowry, the quarterback, had all five of their touchdowns. You know, with a player of his caliber going to a D1 school, what was just your impression of him seeing him in person for the first time? And um, just what was he, how difficult was he to kind of prepare for just defensively, systematically? At all? Oh, he's a heck of a football player. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think there's any question about that. I, I think he had, as before tonight, he had 3,200 yards in the season. Uh, so, so we knew um, to, to be able to be successful in this game that we had to try to. Uh, limit him. I don't I, I don't think anyone would sit up here and say that we thought we could stop him per se, but we were trying to limit the big plays. And, and the one I think it really hurt the most was the throwback pass to him. Um, cause it, uh, it, and that to me is where it really changed the, the, the uh, true momentum of the game at that point. Anybody else? All right, thanks guys. Thank you.